In Genshin Impact, the artifact sets all have different ranging backgrounds and history, with some sets being more significant in the story and in the world of Teyvat. In this video I'll be discussing and talking about the lore for every artifact set that goes up to 4 stars in rarity. A lot of these sets I feel have not been discussed as much as the 5 star ones, but some really do have interesting backgrounds. Be warned, there will be spoilers of the main storyline, so I'd recommend at least finishing the second act of the Archon quest before watching. Anyways, let's get started. The first set I'll be talking about is the Adventurer set, which is a set that can only go up to 3 star in rarity and its origins are in Mondstadt. This set describes the journey of an adventurer and how this person met the love of his life after stumbling through a forest in search of a rare beast. He ended up giving up on his time as an adventurer after meeting this lady. We don't know exactly who it may be, but it could be Herman who was once an adventurer at the guild but is now long retired. The Lucky Dog Artifact Set is another one that only goes up to 3 stars in rarity. It discusses about a young boy who was named as Lucky Dog. This person had an incredible amount of good fortune and had zero worries about the world. The young boy had an unbelievable amount of luck. For example, before being attacked by a bandit, a goblet from the sky flew and hit the bandit on its head, knocking the person out cold. This person is basically the opposite of Bennett, who is usually unlucky when it comes to uh, pretty much everything. The Traveling Doctor set is one of the most common artifact sets as it's dropped by nearly every elite enemy. It describes a doctor who is incredibly diligent at her duties, so much to the point to where she fell ill due to her extreme work schedule. This is similar to how Jean overworks herself due to her grandmaster duties. The doctor had eventually succumbed and passed away from her illness, and she had no one supporting her in her final days, with her handkerchief being her closest partner. This is definitely one of the saddest artifact sets. I'm not really sure why no one was with her in her final days, especially since she had saved countless patients with her duties as a doctor. The next artifact set is the Resolution of Sojourner, which goes up to 4 stars as a rarity. This set has to do with a traveler who had their hope teared away from Mondstadt's aristocracy in the past. This person was a part of the Wanderer's Troop, a group of musicians who traveled all across Teyvat centuries ago. At one point, the troop decided to start a rebellion against the aristocracy, although they completely failed which disbanded the group after. The traveler who somehow escaped the wrath of the aristocracy describes how they have been completely consumed with guilt and fear. We know the person used a lyre as their musical instrument. After that is the tiny miracle set, which can be found from the Valley of Remembrance. The earrings for this set are made from the fallen stars of ancient time, in which the sellers were not aware of it. It was sold for cheap but its real value was likely far higher due to it being made from a meteoric ore. The set overall essentially describes the miracle of life through the legacy of death, such as a flower growing on the cracks of a tombstone. The Berserker artifacts are a very common set that can be found from bosses, elite enemies, and domains. It described a warrior who had descended into madness after being embodied by revenge. This was due to a battle between gods and mortals, which may have been around the time of the Archon War, when almost all of Teyvat was at war. The Berserker was consumed with bloodlust, which had covered some of each piece of the set. This person was likely incredibly powerful as it fought nearly everybody including the gods themselves. The Instructor set is another common set found by elite enemies and can go up to 4 stars in rarity. It discusses about the Instructor who was a former soldier long retired. This person was incredibly strict to its students but likely for a justified reason, as many of the people that surrounded the Instructor had passed away because of war. As a military teacher, the Instructor was strict as it didn't want its students passing away in battle. He gave his students a day off when he wears his yellow flower brooch to visit his fellow compatriots on the tombstone. This person believed that they weren't good enough to command an entire army in which they found their passion in teaching the next generation instead. Next up is the Exile, which is an artifact set that also goes by the name of Legacy. The person for the artifacts was originally a part of the aristocracy that plagued Mondstadt in the past with the Lawrence clan. The noble decided to flee and leave the aristocracy, being exiled from the clan after coming to the realization of how evil and cruel they are. For example, the Lawrence clan turned the Colosseum in the old Mondstadt into a gladiator event merely for entertainment. The noble had a family feud that was large enough to kick them out of the clan. 
The story is somewhat similar to Eula, who had joined the Knights of Avonius, which made the Lawrence clan dislike her, going far enough to call her a traitor. Next up is the Defender's Will set, which can be collected from the Hidden Palace of Zoe formula. Each piece of the set refers to the Guardian, which was a man named Rostam. This person was a knight at Mondstadt around 500 years ago, and was close friends with the Grandmaster at the time. Rostam was incredibly close and in love with a lady named as Rosaline, who is in present day known as La Senora. The knight was slain in battle after protecting Mondstadt from the many monsters that came from the Cataclysm. And after Rosaline saw Rostam dead, she had become embodied by revenge, using liquid fire on herself to become what we now know today as the Crimson Witch of Embers. The Braveheart set, also known as the Heart of Bravery, can be obtained by the Domain of Guyun. This set describes the Grandmaster Arundolin and his story. This was the one who was close friends with Rostam. It talks about his adventurers with Rostam when they were children. Even though Rostam would become a knight at the time, when he was a child he was the crybaby while Arundolin was the brave hero. Both of them had went through countless battles throughout the years, but eventually Rostam had died in battle, leaving the Grandmaster by himself. But before Rostam had left, they had one final toast and drank wine together. After this set comes the martial artist artifacts, which can go up to 4 stars in rarity. It described a martial artist who had learned the real essence of fighting. They learned that fighting isn't just about the power of your attacks and that agility was just as important. There isn't really much about this artifact set that's noteworthy. We did learn more about the cultures of fighting in the past at least. Which was that before dueling in an arena, the martial artist did a partial ritual with a glass of wine. This martial artist became an instructor for others as they grew older as well. Next up is the Gambler Artifact Set, which can be gathered from the Clear Pool and Mountain Cavern domain. It described an exotic lady who had used many different methods to cheat when it came to gambling, such as swapping the dice with a trick one that was hidden in her flower. Most of the pieces in the set describe her methods in tricking others at the gambling scene. It's unknown if this person was ever caught by others, but we do know that she had a large amount of success from cheating. After that is the Scholar set. This can also be gathered at the Clear Pool and Mountain Domain. It described a lady who lived in an ivory tower, spending all her time researching and studying, searching for the answers to a question that we are not aware of. Eventually at the end of her life, the pursuit of knowledge had ended up being futile, with her not finding the answers she needed even with endless study. These are all the artifact sets that go up to 4 stars in rarity. Some of them are still relatively mysterious, as there is still plenty of lore that will be added in the future with new updates. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I may end up doing another one where I cover all the 5 star artifact sets in the game. Anyways, I will catch you all in a bit.